Brenda, my mother. She called for the first time in 10 years. She said she wanted to bury the rusty hatchet. I gave her a chance because I thought bury the rusty hatchet was kind of an interesting phrase. I hadn't thought about her way with words for some time. We actually had a fairly normal conversation. Very different from the telephonic knife fights we once had on a weekly basis. She asked me what I was doing and she actually seemed interested in the answers. She sounded young, vibrant, like she did before Dad died. She asked me to come to the old homestead for Sunday supper and to my surprise I said yes. At first I thought I had the wrong street, but my childhood address was prominently displayed in spray paint. This was Mother's final goodbye, I suppose. One last parting shot. <laughs> now maneuvered again, just like old times. <laughs> I knew she was laughing wherever she was. You see, her diseased body died long ago, but her evil brain would not die. From her secret lab, with the help of henchmen, she can still bring her sadistic plans to fruition. She will continue to sow the seeds of chaos just as long as her bodiless head can be kept alive. Well, she is a pain in the ass, but I just made up that stuff about her being a head without a body. The neighbor said she moved to Florida. So I took a load of bricks. I'm going to use them to build a new patio or maybe an outdoor pizza oven. After all, I had some pretty good times in that house. It's nice to have these bricks. So laugh. Laugh all you want, Mother, with your buddies down there in Florida. I never liked Florida anyway. It's too hot. <laughs> <laughs>